Number or lesson four, we're going to talk about the number line. Okay, if I ask Dylan, Dylan's like, nope. <laughs> what if he could give me a definition of a number line? What do you think he would say? A line. Now think of, he likes. I mean, he's look at his face. He's smiling already because he has a definition he wants to give me. What do you think he's going to say? What's a number line? Unlined with numbers. And guess what? That's exactly the answer I want. So, good job, Dylan, even though you've done nothing. But that's the right answer. So a number line is a line with numbers. I could tell he was going to say that just by that smirk on his face. Dude, couldn't you tell that? Look at him. Look at that smirk. He always has a smirk. <laughs> All right. So the number line um, is just a graphical representation of our number system. Um, what's right in the middle? Zero. Zero. Now, believe it or not, back in the day, I don't know how long ago, but negative numbers were like, what? Why would you ever use negative numbers? And really, if you think about negative numbers, we deal with negative numbers a lot. Some of us too much. Some of us have a lot of debt. And we have a lot of negative numbers in our bank account. But, um, but really, that's a quantifiable number okay because if i'm short fifty dollars that's still fifty dollars that's there somewhere i just spent it on something else so it's still there's still some bigness to those negative numbers it's not like those negative numbers are they don't exist well there you have to account for those somewhere right so think about negative numbers as just if it's negative three then it's just three in that direction or three in this direction or if you owe three dollars, then it's still three dollars, but you owe it instead of you have it. Okay. So to the right of the, anyone know what this is called? It starts with an O. Zero. What? Zero. Does that start with a Z? Oh. Oh no. O. Oh. O. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. No. So what is the beginning? What the, what's another word for the beginning? No. <laughs> In the beginning. The start. Um, origin. Is that how you spell origin? Why does that look so weird? No, it's an I. Wait, can I correct you on that? No, I don't care about spelling. Spelling's not important. That's not. That's not true. Okay. Um, if I make a math mistake, then you can get a free problem set. So that's the origin. So technically, that's kind of where the whole number system began. And um, our ancient uh, culture decided that, why would you ever need negative numbers? But they've become useful, and we really use them a lot. So to the right of the origin are positive numbers. To the left are negative numbers. And most of you know this, but they go backwards. So negative 4 is to the left of negative two. So we say negative four is less than negative two. But if you think about like owing four bucks and owing two bucks, I would owe more money by owing four bucks, but my bank account, negative four is less than negative two. That's weird, but this is, there is a, when we compare numbers, we basically are imagining this number line, not really, but whatever's to the left is less. So you can remember left and less, okay? So if I chose all the counting numbers, so every number has an opposite, every counting number has an opposite. Every positive number has an opposite, okay? Even the weird ones like pi, pi has an opposite. It's called negative pi, all right? So every, um, Every number has an opposite, and then together, if I was just talking about all the whole numbers, all the whole numbers and their opposites, that is called the set of integers. So when you hear the word opposite in math, 
it's just talking about positive or negative. So what's the opposite of two? What's the opposite of negative 450? 450. Positive 450, or you can just say 450, yes. What's the opposite of zero? Good question. So zero has no opposite. So is what neither is positive or negative. It's not positive or negative, has no opposite. So we don't say that zero is positive and we don't say that it is negative, it's neither, okay? So that's the only number that is not positive or negative. It's just zero, it's its own special category, okay? Yeah, in between. All right, so far so good. So do you see how I did this? Remember those ellipses there? So there's a two ellipses. There's one that says it's going to go on forever in that direction. And then there's one on this side that says it's going to go on forever in this direction. Okay? So remember, there's an infinite number of members of this set of integers. They just go on to negative infinity all the way to positive infinity. It's a, a little weird to think about. All right. So let me just tell you, you can write these down if you want. These guys are called braces. Kind of look like braces. Maybe, maybe not. So this is a brace together, they're braces. This is an ellipses. How do you spell that? Ellipses. So the plural, I think is S-I-S. -S. So one of them is an ellipses, I don't know. Ellipses maybe, and plural is ellipses. I don't remember. I don't think it matters. You won't be quizzed on it or tested on it. But um, but these three dots just mean continue in the same direction, the same pattern, and yeah, okay? So remember, left, left equals less. So for example, um, negative two is left of, negative one. So we would say negative two is left of negative one. See how that arrow points to the left? Okay, if you are still hanging on to your little crocodile friend that eats the bigger number, your crocodile is going to be confused, especially with negative numbers. Like, is a crocodile gonna eat negative one apples or negative two apples? Wait, what? I, I don't want negative anything. What are you talking about? So don't confuse your alligator or crocodile. Please, you know, he's gotten you through some tough times when you were younger, but it's time to say goodbye to Crocky or whatever you named him. Or maybe it's a shark. The shark eats the bigger number. Whatever it is, let it go. And by the way, uh, alligator tastes really good. It's like, tastes like chicken. So if you want to eat your crocodile, uh, you can do that. Okay, um, I probably shouldn't have said that. Yes, question. Did you have your hand up? Are you are you thinking about your crocodile? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's like my childhood. <laughs> this, yes. Yes, you can use the restroom. Did you guys not use the crocodile or alligator method that eats the bigger one? Yeah, we're saying goodbye to the crocodile, okay? Especially when you get into algebra, when you get stuff like this, then you're really going to make your crocodile mad. Because how does he know which one to eat? Okay? So, um, so now just think about this number line, okay? Negative 2 is to the left of negative 1, so we say negative 2 is less than negative 1. So far so good? So when you're asked to compare two numbers, I want to compare in math. When we talk about comparing, you're going to say which one's bigger. So when I say compare negative two and negative one or compare negative two with negative one, you, I just want to know which one's less than. So write, a, a, basically this is called an inequality statement because this is not an equation, right? They're not equal but we, it's an inequality. Negative two is not equal to negative one. Negative two is less than negative one, okay? 
Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. A lot of this is just kind of semantics and just understanding the correct way to say stuff. But here's what some of your homework might look like. Your homework is going to say uh, something like this. You might be asked to show three plus two on the number line. How would you show that addition on a number line? Well, let's draw a number line. And then we're gonna put our zero there, maybe put some negatives, but I don't think we're gonna go into negatives, are we? No. Yeah, so we're just gonna focus mostly on our positives. So how would you show three plus two on a number line? Well, where do you always start? Zero. Zero, okay, and then what, Grace? On the new, add three. Yep, so we go three to the right, blip, blip, blip. Then you add one, two more. And then we add two more, blip, blip, and then we end up at five, okay? So you can do that on a number line. Um, if you are a visual person, that might be helpful. If not, you're like, why are we doing this? So if your homework asks you to do that and show it on a number line, you're welcome to do that, but you won't be, this won't be on any of your tests to show it on a number line, okay? But I can see how that would be helpful if you're a really visual person. Um, and that really does help when you're dealing with adding positive and negative numbers because that goes a different direction. So see how we went positive three and positive two. So if left is negative or less, then positive is right. So right three and then right two. So if you ask Siri how you get to five from the origin, go right three and then right two. Also ask Siri zero divided by zero and also <laughs> wire contractor. Yeah, that would be weird. So do you guys know what zero divided by zero is? There's an official answer for zero divided by zero. Is that what Siri says? I'll have to ask her later. Make sure you ask Siri that. Okay, do it now. Press pause. Go do it. Just kidding, don't press pause. Don't. Stop it. Do Why it. am I talking to you? Okay, um, so you can express it on a number line if you want, but here's some other problems that you might be getting. So I want you to, um, I want you to do this. I want you to, let's see, what do I want you to do? What do I want you to do? Um, okay, so when you sub reverse a subtraction problem, what's 5 minus 3? Two. 2. 2, so if you showed that on a number line, 5 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, or basically 5 left 3, you end up at 2. Well, what's 3 minus 5? Can you do that in your head? Negative 2. So you're at three, and then you go five left, one, two, three, four, five, you end up at negative two. So anytime you reverse a subtraction problem, what happens to the answer? It becomes negative. It becomes negative. So when you're asked to do this on your calculator, 376, not on your calculator. If you're asked to do this in your homework, because you're not using your calculator yet, you will, but not yet. So how do you do this subtraction? Because you can't line that up by place value and subtract it. So what do you do? You can't subtract 376 minus 840, right? What do you do? Do you switch on and then you take your answer and you just add a negative? Yes. So I'm going to put a well, which means let's do this first. 840 minus 376, well, what does that equal? Cheating, cheating, 464. So, another dot, 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 or ellipses. So, this must be 376 minus 840 has to equal what answer? Negative, four. Negative 464. Okay? So, whenever you're asked to subtract the impossible, reverse the subtraction problem, and then throw a negative on it, okay? Pretty simple, right?